who played for him for a year in Vancouver in that that one bizarre season. And uh, again, there is there he was in the spotlight again with Patrick Laine being benched. And we found out since that seems like there was a pretty good reason for Laine being benched. But uh, just just a thought on you played for him for a year, but you played for him as kind of an established veteran, so it'll be a little bit different. But I. Just uh, your thought on what it'd be like being a, a younger player, still trying to kind of make your mark with that head coach. What that would be like playing for Tortorella? Well, as a young player, like the game's changed. We all know that we hear that all the time, and times society has changed, and young people are, we you know, are as entitled as ever, right? And and some of the older people that think that you should you know, fight and claw and, and scratch to get everything you deserve. And, and, you know, things are a little bit different these days where everything's based on potential and what you can do in the future. So, yeah, young guys, some young guys would, would be hard to play for Torts because he is an old school coach. And 20 years ago, everybody coached like Torts where you, you're super accountable. And if you weren't going, you weren't playing. And if you were, you know, a deaf player playing your heart out for the team, you would play more. And, and I don't know, I just, I just don't understand how anybody – would, would not like that like how any team would not like that I guess if you're like a top player and you just feel like you can do whatever you want out there and make mistakes and not try and still get your ice time I guess you wouldn't like it but I think for everybody else on the team um, what it's an even playing field right like it's I've seen I've seen torts and even throw Elaine Vino in that mix I've seen those guys scratch more veterans and hall of famers than than anybody else and it was all in the name of accountability and everyone's treated the same, no matter who you are. And I mean, there's obviously different standards of play for everybody. You don't expect, you know, uh, like a, a Tom Sestito to play the same way as Matt Sundin, but you expect Tom Sestito to play as well as he can. And you expect, you know, Matt Sundin and Matthew Schneider and Marcus Naslin. And I don't think he scratched Nazi, but uh, Trevor Linden, you expect those guys to play as mm-hmm. well as they can. But I saw a lot of those guys get scratched and, and Torts is the same way. And, and the players, for the most part, respect that and like that. So, But I can see as a young guy, when you, you don't think that you think you're a bit of an untouchable, it would be tough. But Torts is a good communicator, and it's not always going to turn out to be the good boss situation. Most of the time, I, I feel like Torts gets through to the guys.